far this summer, we have shown you how to make your own bug spray. I missed mm -hmm. out on that, apparently. And also citronella candles to keep the bugs from bugging you. Just yesterday, we were talking about sprays and fibers. I know, yeah. Well, our next guest says the plants that you put in your garden will also keep the bugs away. And here to show which ones we welcome from Mickman's Brothers, Mariah Mickman. Hi. 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 All right. We were just talking. We were just talking during the commercial break <laughs> that you are now going to do a plant segment with the two. What's the opposite of a green thumb? Black thumb. Okay, we, thumb? we've got them. That's well, what we have. <laughs> we You're don't worry about it. You you promised that this though. This is actually something that we could do at our own place. We're not going to yes. kill these plants. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yep. All right, we'll see. So this summer it's been really wet. Lots of mosquitoes are out and about. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've noticed at barbecues cabins, lakes, anything yes. like that. You can oh. hear them around the studio you right now. Yeah. Yeah. In everywhere. <laughs> yeah, the swarms are in. Um, but good news is you can actually install plants around your property to help repel mosquitoes naturally. So you okay. don't have to put bug spray on and constantly, which is which, oh my kind gosh, of a relief yes. sometimes. Absolutely. And uh, Look, we've got it already. in both. Yeah, I figured we may as well, okay. right? <laughs> and this is in both potted form and also in your gardens. Why don't we yes. start with some potted plants? Yep. So the pot that we'll do today, um, We'll actually put in, this is lemongrass. Okay. It's a natural, um, natural repelling you mosquito. Want me to yank this yank puppy it right out. out, shove it right into the pot. Oh my it's okay. Gosh. Yep. Right. Look at you. Yep. You look like there you go. Doing. Yep. All right. See, and even if you rough up the roots, it's good for the plants too. Good They'll enough. get rooted in there really well. Right. Um, this is citronella. So we've all had citronella oh, candles. Yeah. I think okay. you guys have made citronella candles yeah. as well. This is what the plant looks like. So yeah, rough that up. It really get releases. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No. This is actually, this is a good, we like to have take home lessons, and this is a good moment for one of those take home lessons. Yes. I forgot my strength, Mariah. Wow. I've just got yeah, yeah, very not strong. that you much. Incidentally, with me. we need some strong people out there. That released a lot of the it. scent, though. Yeah, it does smell good. It's going to yeah, be okay, really everyone. Fragrant. I'm waiting for the emails to come right now. Just send them to spatterson at ksdb.com. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, what else, what else can we break? It's a little bit wilty, yeah, but that's was, okay. Yeah, that was a lot. No, really, so, will it come back, okay? Things, keep those mosquitoes away. Yep. I think okay. I broke yep. a little stem there. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it's you okay. did. I know Here, you Here, we did. have another one. You can put another one in there. Well, my, well. My, my dad is actually in the audience today. He's probably mortified oh. because he is big into stuff like this and yard work, and this is probably why he never invited me to help. Wow. So now he's knowing why. What do we have here? That's another citronella. More citronella, okay. Yep, and then... One um, that is not broken. Uh-huh. Another handy thing is that herbs... Common herbs repel mosquitoes as well. Oh, really? And so this is thyme. You can shove that in there. See how I'm fluffing I'll let that? Do you that. can sure, smell yeah. that. <laughs> mosquitoes oh, don't wow, like smell that it, smell. That, that does smell smells good. That's great. Wow. Yeah. So if you, you know, just rub your hand over things, release all those oils, yeah. that'll really help repel the mosquitoes. So when you say repel, I mean, they're really just going to kind of stay away altogether? Or they're just going to be at a distance? Yes. Or? So they, mosquitoes can smell us from up to 150 feet, and that's why they just swarm yeah. to us. It's I know, oh, pretty gross. That's weird. Yeah. Horrible news. I know. But <laughs> by putting smelly plants around you, they release their own natural oils that mosquitoes are not attracted to. And wow. how many? So in that way. How many do you need to have? I mean, is it like one will do the trick, or you should get a big handful of them? Um, the more, the merrier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The more you can make a whole barricade around yourself if you want to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's that wouldn't look odd at all for the neighbors if you're just no. getting in a whole thing. Of, yeah. But I will say that I'm surprised at the amount of smell you you talked about that, you and can I thought, smell it. okay, maybe yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. It is really pretty strong, yeah. but not in a bad way. No, no, it's a really nice, pleasant smell that all these plants give out. Yeah. Um, if you do do annual containers, you don't have to put just the plants that are repelling mosquitoes. You can also put in the flowers that you like. Oh, okay. Um, right down in front, you know, we shoved in a sunflower as well, oh, that's some lantana nice. yes. to kind of bring in some color to your to your patio and your deck, your front entryway. Yes. Because yep. I think a lot of people do want, of course, we want to keep yeah. the bugs away, but you also want it to look beautiful. So the yes. fact that you can add flowers of your choosing and then maybe plant some of these around it, that's good yep. thinking. Yep, for sure. Add a little bit of color. So these are in the planters. Let's talk about getting in the garden. What's different there? Yep. So, um, and landscapes, and um, there's lots of different plants that you can put around your deck and your barbecue area, especially mm -hmm. if you eat dinner outside. I definitely encourage you to put in some of these plants in okay, there. That's a good idea. Um, down in front, this is just called Artemisia. It's just a nice silver mound. Um, you Don't can kind of rough that up. I'm oh, going in. Easy, it some more. Emily. Take it easy. <laughs> that I learned one, my lesson. If you smush it, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Luckily, all these perennials are really, really tough and quite drought resistant as well. What about this one? So, this is pretty. I want the pretty yep, one. This is uh, Monarda <laughs> or Bee Balm. And then this one, if you can really kind of smell that as well. 
Oh, ooh, yeah, wow. it's a really nice. Oh scent. yeah, that's good. Yeah, and there's a lot of different varieties of this plant as well. Tall, short, pink, purple, red, all sorts of different colors. Okay. Um, really tough, drought resistant, takes full sun. Looks really pretty in a mass planting around yeah. your around your backyard, around your deck, anything yeah. like that. That's a big deal with all the sun too. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. it's really nice. This one down in front with the little purple flowers, it's called cat mint. It's in the same family as cat nip, but it doesn't attract cats like. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, as, oh. like cat nip does, but. It has the same property as catnip, and it's um, it's a naturally occurring uh, repellent for mosquitoes. So they're actually oh, doing no. studies that it's it's just as repellent as DEET. So okay. wow. yeah, so it, I'm looking forward to hearing a little bit more about that. And quickly before we go, this to me just looks like a baby evergreen tree. What yeah, this? this is a cedar. So it has oh. the cedar oils, which I'm sure you'll kind of, if you read the active ingredients in some of your bug sprays, yeah. you'll see that cedar oil is quite often in there. Oh, I love this. It's yeah. going to help you and it's going to look so nice. Yep. And really add a lot of color to your yard yeah. while we're planting res the mosquitoes. Yeah. And so much better than the sticky bug spray. Oh. You just feel awful after yeah, you put that you do. on. And, it's, and it just sticks with you as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. this is so great. Much better. Good yeah, stuff. awesome. Thank you so much, Mariah. And I apologize. I will write you a check for what I owe you for the plant that I just ruined. My <laughs> apologies. Send you home with it. It's yep. just fine. <laughs> Again, Steve Patterson. <laughs> Patterson. He'll take care of that. Yeah. That. Uh, for the list of bug repellent plants, you can go to TwinCitiesLive.com and be sure to click on Fun. And starting at four o'clock today, you can get a fifty dollars gift certificate for twenty five dollars to spend at McMinn Brothers in Ham Lake. Head to TwinCitiesLive.com and just click on Deals. Thanks to McMinn Brothers for sponsoring Twin Cities. Live. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for having me.